Hello everybody, it is the Crimson Gamer, and welcome to a new series that I am going to be doing on my channel. This is called um, Detailed Guides on How to Play Smite Gods, and basically that's exactly what I'll be doing. I'll be telling you how to play certain gods in Smite. And as you can see right now, I'm just doing a random build, but in the first place, I'm going to be doing this video on Rajin, the newest god in, the, not, the newest added god in the smite. So, what I'm going to be showing in this video is all of his moves, um, a guide on how to play him, and probably the best way to use him. So as you can see here, I'm in a jungle practice, I'm leveling him up. So I'm able to get all of my moves at once and get my second relic, which will be a sprint. And now I can power up all of my moves and now proceed to the robot. So Raijin is the newest addition to Smite. He is a Japanese mage god. He's similar to Zong Kui, who happens to be really large, but has the capabilities of a mage. So, I'm gonna go through his moves. So his first move is called Percussive Storm, and what it, he, it does is he pounds his drum, sending uh, basically like a peel of wonder in a thigh, in a line, then another, and two other ones. It happens really fast, and it does a great deal of damage. So I'm gonna go ahead and attack this raw with that, and see what it does there. It does a significant amount of damage to him. I'll just go ahead and finish him off here. And now, let's go on to his second attack, which is called Raiju. And it is similar to um, Hu Yi, how he is able to mark other gods, and that's exactly what he does. So as you can see here, he marks the god, and say you were in a conquest or a joust, you would be able to see where they are. Alright, let's just get out of here. Oh, he wants to go. Alright. Let's just kill him. And now while Ra is respawning, I will go ahead and let you all know his number 3 attack. It's He sends a bolt of lightning. You teleport to him, and it's via a bolt of lightning, and it does a huge amount of damage. I'll show you right here exactly what it does, and then if you combine it with your one, it's basically an instant kill, should you land it on them. And now, the next move I would like to show you is Raijin's ultimate, so his number four. And what that does is it's very similar to Chiron's ultimate. He will jump into the air, and he will perform a series of attacks with his drumsticks. So let's just get started on that, see, as you can see, a lot of damage done for that ultimate. Basically an insta-kill, because you could see he had barely any health left after I did that. So now that you know the purposes of all four of his moves, I'm going to show you basically a couple rounds of me killing Raw with him, and so you can see exactly what this guy can do. So as I said, I will combine the one with the two. And which does a lot of damage. I just happened to miss. This normally would have insta killed him. And then you can see his two, which marks, which really doesn't really have a use in jungle practice, but normally it would. Let's go a couple more kills, and then we'll do next. Alright, so there we are. I'm gonna head back into the middle area. Now in regards to builds, since he is a mage, you're going to want to do probably mostly a powerful and less defensive of a build because he can he has somewhat abilities of a tank where he has a significant amount of health. Me, I just did a default build. I had shoes of focus, rod of Tahuti, Cronus' pendant. Obsidian Shard, Vancroft's Talon, and the Spear of the Magus. I should probably replace this and instead purchase Book of Thoth. Because usually with mages, you'd like to build stacks to get them to their full out power potential. Along with, should you have enough money at the time, go ahead and get the Elixir of Power. 
along with the potion of magical might which will basically max out your power with Rajin and as a mage he will do a lot of damage so let me just show you exactly what this build can do with the elixirs and potions equipped it will do a significant amount of damage uh, a lot of damage to be honest with you so let's go ahead and just dive in and I'm only gonna basic attack him for this one and see how much damage it did there yet with the potions the alt should be an insta kill not an insta kill exactly but yeah see it does a lot more damage with the potions it basically maxes out your power so I'm gonna go ahead and kill this raw a couple more times with Rajin, and then that's basically the end of the guide. And if there's anything I missed or there's anything you'd like me to improve on, please, I indulge you to let me know in the comments section below. And holy crap, I just got altered, but as you can see, since I was on the receiving end of it, it didn't do as much because of the build I have. This isn't the recommended build, but this is probably for amateurs. But those who want to completely master Rajin, probably have their own personal builds that work well but for those starting off I recommend using the build I have here but relics you can really use whatever you want I prefer using blink because it's good for a mage to have a getaway and just blink in and use their alts and just do all their damage and sprint is something you should probably always have because whenever you're in that time where you're getting destroyed or you need to help somebody out sprint will help you get there really quickly so I'll let you know exactly what Sprint does, so see how much quicker it makes my character, and then when Ra goes to attack me, I use my blink, and I'm out of there. So, thank you guys for watching, this was my detailed guide on how to play Rajin, the newest god on Smite for PC. So thank you for watching, I will see you all in the next tutorial. Thank you, and see you.